Hello Twin Flames and welcome to this new series. So in this series we're going to be tapping in with the energy of the Divine Masculine and we're going to be focusing on their journey to union. So I did a series not long ago called Separation Heals and we tuned into the Divine Feminine aspect of the journey and why we go through separation, how we heal during separation and what it all means. But we're going to tap more in this series into the masculine energy and their point of view and the way they see things and the way they experience their journey to union towards you. So thank you for being here and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So for this series, we're going to use a beautiful deck, one of my favourites, and I know it's one of yours, the DM Confessions by Bridget Rowe. So it's a big deck, this is. So what we're going to do, we're going to shuffle the cards every day, because every day I'm shuffling, and we're going to pull out the cards that come out. So the angels are going to guide me to the cards, and then we're going to talk about the cards that come out in detail, what they mean how the masculines connect with this energy. So, you know, how they feel for you, how they go through it and, you know, just how it means. So if you're a divine feminine, this is really going to shed light on the masculine's journey. And if you're a masculine watching, it's going to help you to understand why you go through the things that you go through. Because the masculine journey, you know, it can be an enigma to the divine feminine. Because the masculines go quiet, they process their emotions in so many different ways, a lot more different than the Divine Feminine. And it's because the Divine Feminine is from Venus and the Divine Masculine is from Mars. So right, people from Venus and Mars don't communicate very well. So we have to look behind the mask. We have to look deeper. We have to try and see through, you know, the, the kind of the hidden meaning of things. And we have to look through the illusion and we have to look closer. And it's like we get a magnifying glass and we illuminate what's really going on because the masculines do hurt and they do go through pain. Even if it feels like they're indifferent, they don't care. You know, if they're just blocking you, ghosting you, not speaking to you, spending time with other people, they deal with it in their own way. So this series is designed and what the angels are just like asking me to do is design it or create it in such a way where it will open your eyes to the truth and it will help you to feel calm, more at peace and more in tune with your own journey and why this all happens the way it's meant to happen. So let's do this then. So big shout out to our soul sister Bridget Rowe for creating this deck and if you do like this and you want to get your hands on a copy, the link is in the description below. Okay, Check out Bridget Rowe's channel and you'll find all her information there. So thank you angels on day one. What do we need to know? So just two cards coming out then for day one. So I'm excited to start this series. So let's see what we've got. Wow, I'm sorry I risked losing your love. So that's day one. Wow, that's the first thing they want you to know. I'm sorry that I risked losing your love. So your masculine is really getting across to you on this first day, which is super powerful, that they are sorry for a start, that they're apologizing to you for the things that they've done that's risked losing your love. So they know that your love is special, that your love is magical, that your love is unlike anything they've ever experienced before. It's a sacred love. It's magical to them. It's treasured by them. And they are sorry that they've done things that have risked losing your love. So let this be a big message to you, Divine Feminine, that your masculine is afraid of losing your love. And they know that they've done things that have risked that. You know, they know that, but they also understand that they've had to do what they've done to grow and learn spiritually, to evolve and transform spiritually, to become the type of person that you truly need them to be. Because the masculines grow up big time on this journey. You know, they start off like, a young boy or a young girl and then they evolve and grow they go through many different things many different versions of themselves along the way to become their greatest version of themselves which they move into when they move into union so they are growing and learning and sometimes they act in a crazy way that they don't even understand themselves and then they question everything and that's how they learn that they're actions have consequences and this is what they're showing you here they're also showing me the compass there because this is how they find their direction so sometimes the masculine that's after risk losing you to find you 
to realize how much they do love you and how much they do care. So from risking the love, they find their way. And that's what the compass is showing you, that they move into the right direction. So they are apologizing to you for risking this powerful love. Nights are the worst for me. It's as if all my feels are amplified. So the same to you, it's at night when it's the worst. You know, it's the night time. So this is when they are kind of sitting downstairs late at night thinking, or they're trying to fall asleep and the mind is going over and over everything and they're thinking. And they start thinking at night, oh, I've risked this love. And I'm so sorry. You know, they understand that they've trampled on your emotions. They understand that they've hurt you and caused you pain. And it hits them right in the feels, you know, right in their heart chakra, their heart space. That's when the wound opens. And Rumi said, when the wound opens, the light goes in. So that's how they heal and grow and understand because they have to go through pain or what you could call the dark night of the soul to learn and grow. And I really feel that's the message coming through for day one, that the nights are the worst. This is the dark night of the soul that they go through. So sometimes, the, you know, when the feminine is wondering what the masculine is going through, the, the masculine is dying inside because they're in the dark night of the soul. So the first day, is really like their journey into the dark night of the soul when they start going within. So whenever that comes into your connection, so that could be when you first go into separation or when they first start going distant on you and you know something's wrong or you feel that kind of step back from that. This is when they start going within to process things. That's why sometimes they block you or ghost you or ignore you because they have to work it all out. They have to process everything. So they're apologizing to you. So what they want you to know is when you're in separation, when you're not in communication, when they need space, when they need time, they know that they risk losing your love and they apologize for that. And they are saying to you, that's it's worse at night it's worse when I'm thinking about you at night and I can't sleep and it's all on me you know when they're not distracted by their job when they're not distracted by their karmic partner or their children or you know their family or anything they seem to be doing you know even watching the tv playing a game at night they haven't got that because they're trying to fall asleep and that's when it all comes into their mind and it hits them in the heart, which is right in the feels. And the, it's all amplified. So it gets amplified at night. So I feel that this is very important to know that they feel all of this at night. But it's also about their dark night of the soul. So the angel is saying sometimes they take the long way around to get where they need to be. And that's why they always have a compass and the compass is your light. So your light is always guiding them. And I always say this, the divine feminine is the lighthouse. You know, the lighthouse that stands strong in that stormy sea. And it doesn't matter what comes along to the divine feminine, to the lighthouse. The storm, the wind, the, you know, the ocean that's kind of, whoa, it's just kind of, you know, battering this lighthouse. The lighthouse will stand strong because it's built on rock and stone. It's not built on sand or something that will wash away. And it shines the light bright so that it guides the ships where they need to go. So they don't crash into the rocks or, you know, they don't crash and, you know, fall. They go where they're meant to go. So your light is a divine feminine. Or if you're masculine watching this, your divine feminine's light guides you where you're meant to be. Out of the dark night of the soul. Out of the darkness. Towards their true north. So you're their, their guide towards their true north, which is you, which is union, which is being together as one. So the real message coming through for day one is you have to trust that if your masculine is blocking you, blanking you, ghosting you, ignoring you, being distant with you, it's how they find their way. So you have to trust that they will find their way. They will always find their way to union because all paths lead home even if they take a detour along the way. And when I'm tapping in with their energy right now, I even feel like the words I'm using are kind of going round in circles. The masculines go round in circles. There isn't a clear route for the masculines. For the feminines, it's very clear. 
you know, you see the answer, you see the way, you see the solution, and you know the quickest, fastest, most powerful way to get there. Well, the masculines don't. They have to go on detours. They go all around the reeking. They, they go off that way and off that way, and, you know, they get lost sometimes, and they have to find their way. So you have to be very, very patient with this journey. You have to realize that it's a journey of surrendering to unconditional love where there is no conditions no expectations and you allow everything to happen in divine time so you allow your twin flame the room the space the time to find their way because they know everything you're saying is right they feel everything that you feel but they have to come to their own conclusions so they have to work it out in their own way in their own time so you can't force this love you can't push this love. You have to allow it to be. And if you firmly believe in your heart and soul that this is your divine masculine, then you have to trust that they will find their way. And to find their way, most of the time, they go through a dark night of the soul first to find that way, to wake up, to realize who they truly are, to awaken from the matrix. Because waking up as a, as a divine masculine is a lot like Neo waking up from the matrix in in you know in the matrix films because when neo gets unplugged you know before he gets unplugged he knows there's something wrong and he's searching for answers and he knows there's something niggling at him and that's what the divine masculine is like and then when they unplug him and you know he, he's unplugged from the matrix and he, he's he's building himself back up you know he's got all those kind of acupuncture sticks in him and you know, his eyes are hurting. He says to Morpheus, what's wrong with my eyes? Why do my eyes hurt? And Morpheus says, you've never used them before. So you have to understand that, you know, the masculines learn to see through fresh eyes. They learn to experience things in a new way because they've been plugged into their 3D world for so long. You know, the masculine's journey to union is to overcome their 3D world, what society says, what they think they should be doing because their mother and father told them to or society says they must do that or they've entangled themselves up in things that they find hard to untangle themselves from so this is why the masculines you know are, are kind of less spiritually aware and mature than and the divine feminine the divine feminine is aware you know you're in your light you're in your power so to the divine masculine you're this kind of power energy you know this powerful goddess energy because you're living the light you're in the light you're in the power and that's very kind of overwhelming to the masculines but it's also so kind of empowering and it guides them home and it draws them in like a moth to a flame so really all the divine feminine has to do is to keep shining you know her light or his light and power to guide the masculine home even though it's not as easy as that because the doubt creeps in, the fear, the worry, the pain, the stress, the anxiety. And that's why the divine feminine has to learn to let go, to surrender, to trust in the love. But that's in the Separation Heal series because you can go and watch that. But the divine masculine is saying to you, I'm sorry that I risk losing your love. That's how important your love is to your masculine. They're apologizing for risking it because, you know, they understand that it's it's hard you know it's something that if they lost your love it would be the end you know they feel like they're dying inside but they're apologizing for that and nights are the worst for me it's as if all of my feels are amplified so they're letting you know they're constantly thinking of you especially at night you know dreaming of you but also struggling to sleep because everything's amplified but this is mainly about the dark night of the soul when they pull away from you and they risk losing your love it's because you know they're releasing thank you for giving me fear they're releasing all the fear the processing the fear and the working out what it all is so that's day one that's the message i hope this helps so take that in today you know your mask is sorry for risking losing your love I hope this helps. Have a great day. Sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.